Council President Donald Tusk is in Istanbul to seek Turkey's help to stem the flow of refugees into Europe. He's holding talks with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Tusk believes the number of people trying to enter Europe from Turkey is far too high. He's raised the idea of shipping people who arrive on the Greek islands back to Turkey. The UN has hit back at Tusk for warning economic migrants not to come to Europe. The inconvenient truth is that refugees are still coming to Europe because the wars in the neighborhood of Europe are not solved. And I know there is an attempt by some European leaders to requalify the problem, but we're getting a bit tired to hear about irregular migrants when we are talking about Syrians fleeing from Aleppo. Well, let's take a look at some of the numbers. During 2015, over 1.2 million people applied for asylum in Europe. That's according to Eurostat. And in the first two months of 2015, around 12,000 people reached Europe's shores. In the same period this year, more than 130,000 people have arrived. That's a tenfold increase, and over a third of the refugees are children. The UNHCR says the vast majority who've come to Greece, that's 91%, are not economic migrants, but they're fleeing war in Syria, Afghanistan and Iraq. Despite these latest figures, the EU Migration Commissioner says that the EU-Turkey action plan is starting to yield results. The duration of the returns of irregular migrants from Greece to Turkey over the last few days, the EU-Turkey action plan is starting to bear fruits. But we need to see the flows from Turkey go drastically down soon.